Hello and welcome to Karen's Creative Cards on YouTube. My name is Karen Hashik and I'm happy you join me today for my December 2017 card making techniques class. In this month's class I am sharing three different ways to use the same die set to help you stretch your die cut dollars and I will show you how to use deco foil and transfer gel with stencils to create a lovely shadow effect. You can win the cards you see here, so stick around to the end of the video to find out how. Today I am featuring the Tree Pop-Up die set from Karen Berniston along with many of her other dies. I have created cards for fall, for spring or summer, and winter or Christmas. This one is a Thinking of You card with the spring or summer colors. So it has thinking of you on the front with the tree. The tree is from the die set that we are using today, so you can see that you can use it on uh, flat or you can use it to pop up as I've done here. I've made a spring or summer scene with flowers from the die set, birds, some clouds, and the today and always. So it's thinking of you today and always. This one is a fall card. So I've used some dies on the front and then on the inside I used fall colors and leaves with warm thoughts from Quiet Fire Designs. Now both of these cards I will have links in my description to the blog post that describes specifically everything that I used and how I made it. And of course for all the products that I'm using today there will be links in the description for that. Today we are making this card with a beautiful shadow effect created with stencils and deco foil transfer gel. And after sliding off the ribbon, it pops open and you see a lovely winter scene. I'm assuming you can see this. If I lay it flat, it stands up and um, so when the recipient opens it they can display it standing up. Here are the supplies I used to make that card. I'm using the tree pop-up die from Karen Berniston. I'm using the Nature's Edges which is a very versatile die. You can use it to make snowbank or hills. You can make clouds with it or grass. I'm using the word set three for holidays and I'm going to say happy holidays. I'm using a label from the Catherine label pop-up die set and this die whole die set um, someone's going to win it today from last month's contest. I mean I'm using a little bird from Memory Box's Resting Birds I'm using a stamp and cut set from Hero Arts that has joy in a die cut and some um, words to go with joy. I'm using a stencil from Penny Black and some really cool two-sided paper from Bow Bunny. It's called Sleigh Ride. I am going to be uh, doing some laminating. I'm also using Nouveau Glitter Accents and some deco foil in the opal color and some Gina K Sheer Satin Fancy Ribbon, the white and gold. To start we have applied temporary tape to the back of a top folding two-sided piece of cardstock and we're laying on a, on a piece of scratch paper. We're going to take the stencil which is Snow Flakes from Penny Black. Of course any stencil will do. And we're going to use temporary tape to tape down all four sides. Mm -hmm. 
<clears throat> we're going to take some Nouveau Hybrid ink from Nouveau uh, and it's called Empire Blue. I like to use these smoothies from Creative Expressions. They're really easy to sponge with. And we're just going to sponge the blue ink through all of the, the snowflakes. Now I have to wash off the stencil, so I'll be right back. So the stencil is now as clean as it's going to get, and we're going to lay it over the blue that we did before, line it up, and then you want to move it over a little bit and up a little bit and reattach. And then we're going to take Decofoil Transfer Gel and a stencil knife and we're going to apply the gel through the stencil. It goes on very easily. You want to fill up all the holes. And then Scrape it off the stencil. And you're going to remove the temporary tape. Leave one on for a hinge and then very carefully lift up the stencil. And then this needs to be cleaned right away, but I'm not going to stop the camera to do it. I'm going to put it in a soapy water uh, bath that I have prepared. Now this transfer gel needs to dry until it is completely clear, and that does take several hours. So I'm going to set it aside, and I have prepared one already. When it is completely dry, it is clear and not tacky. And I'm putting this into a parchment paper um, envelope. Uh, and I am putting deco foil opal in an opal color over it. And I'm going to put it through a hot laminator. I have die cut three trees from the, the Karen Berniston tree pop-up die set. I have also die cut a piece of four and a half by three inch white cardstock and I fold it in half. And then I die cut. This is the apparatus that is the pop-up on this and I put that right on the line the folded line in the center and die cut that out of it. I also die cut some snow banks out of the top and the bottom to create the centerpiece of our card. All you need to do is pop that uh, apparatus up and put a little tape and that's going to create the pop-up um, for this card. And of course that can be used to pop up anything. And you could even do several, you know, several trees or several anything that you want to pop up in the center. My laminating is done. This piece can be used for another pretty card. And my card front now has 
the blue and then a like an opal snowflake on it um, which is very very pretty we'll now be working on the inside of our card I have put temporary tape or not temporary then no, this is good strong uh, tape on both sides of our pop-up apparatus And this is the bottom. So we're going to lay this in the fold up to but not over the fold. Well, I guess it's going to go down there. Huh? And we're going to lay that flat on there. And then we're going to remove this tape. And we're going to fold the top down on that. Now I made this out of very good strong 110 pound white cardstock from Michaels it's my favorite thick um, white cardstock at the moment and I deliberately cut it a little long as you can see I'd rather have it a little long than a little short so I, I generally do cut it a little long and then I trim it off perfectly wherever I have attached it Now, um, two of the trees are going to be in the background. We'll be working on the top right now. And one of the trees is going to be in the foreground, and I am going to attach a little red bird on my um, front tree with a glue dot. cheery little red cardinal. Um, I deliberately did not put a lot of uh, tape along the top of here so I can slide these background trees in. Oh and I forgot to mention that I took the Nouveau Glitter Accents Fresh Snowfall and I um, put snow on all the trees. Now this takes a little while to dry too. Um, I would say a couple hours. Um, so I did that in advance, um, but it's a real fun way to put sparkly snow on anything. I'm sticking this one under here. This one over here and then I'm going to trim those branches off as well so this is the tree that will go on the pop-up apparatus. I put a good strong piece of tape here. I'm going to lay it down and then lay the card down on it. And now the tree is standing up. I have joy that I'm going to attach with my favorite fine line glue. Joy, my favorite holiday word. And then I have to you and yours.
joy to you and yours. I'm using a ribbon from Gina K, and I've applied a little uh, tape. I'm going to apply it uh, uh, loosely, actually from the back to the front. This will become the slide off ribbon that's going to hold the card closed. As you know, sometimes the hardest part is just getting this tape off. There we go. And then we're going to apply another piece of that tape. Remove that liner if I can. Okay, got to shut it off again. I don't like to leave you sit and wait while I struggle with that, but then of course the next time I tried it, it did come off. Um, and now I'm going to apply my Happy Holidays to the ribbon. So it is a... Um, it's going to hold it closed in the envelope and then the recipient is going to slide it off and then open it up and they have a stand up winter joyful scene. Our joyful pop-up Christmas card is complete. Um, the card will lay flat to mail of course and will pop open to display a beautiful winter scene and your wishes for the recipient. Would you like to win the three cards I shared today showing three different seasons and reasons to use Karen Bernison's tree pop-up die? All you need to do is number one, become a subscriber on my YouTube channel if you are not already one. And number two, leave a comment on this video before I post the January 2018 Techniques and Tips class early in January 2018. Let me know in the comment if you are a new subscriber or a returning one. The winner of the November cards that I made in the November class, as I've, as I've shown them there, and a special extra prize, the Catherine Label Pop-Up Die um, is Anna Atkins. Anna, I will try to contact you and, and also will respond to your winning comments so you can get me your mailing address. Happy holidays to all of you and thanks for watching, sharing, commenting, and subscribing and for helping me share the joy of creativity.